Next stop is Petigo, a small village which has featured in several international news reports on Brexit due to its unusual situation. It's split between County Fermanagh and County Donegal by this bridge. We spoke to some of the locals there. First up, the postmaster. We're a bit fortunate in that there never was a permanent army checkpoint at, at this village. It's one of the very few border crossings, but you could go um, three or four miles down the road back into the north and um, there was a permanent army, British Army checkpoint down there. It was reasonably normal in, in, in that way. I suppose the biggest difference was, apart from the troubles end of it, was the regulations with customs and stu uh, you know, stops at checkpoints with customs and that. You know, it, 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 kind of, it made it feel more like a border with customs. Uh, once that changed in, I think it was in the 19, late 1990s, when the customs border went, everything became very free, very free after that. We used to get people in from the north for uh, cheaper postage and that, but it's, um, it's evened up a good bit in the last 12 months or so. But especially this year, we've had a huge run in uh, northern people, probably from both traditions, coming in for uh, renewing or getting passports, especially for the first time. Irish passports? Irish passports, okay. because uh, once you're born, born in Ireland, on the island of Ireland, you're entitled to um, an Irish passport. Just outside the town, we met with Martin Eaves, who runs a wood chip manufacturer and is also the chair of a cross-border regeneration project in the village. We want to live in a community that has a radius of 360 degrees, not 180 degrees. I mean, that's what we're looking at, just from a social side. And years ago, when uh, the troubles were in place, you know, it was helicopters at night flying up and down the river with their searchlights on. I remember as kids looking out the top window and would be, you know, in full view and they'd spot you and you'd be in the full spotlight for 10 or 20 seconds. Leo Varadkar, I doubt, will come here. And Theresa May didn't come here, but at least you did come here. So maybe, maybe that's how we will get our message across that, that this isn't acceptable. And if it goes, I'm sure Leo Varadkar don't have the final say either. Um, but if it goes against us, then there is going to be some serious uh, assistance needed along the border to protect our communities and keep them together. Because if there's going to be a border, there's going to be a vacuum, there's going to be all kinds of illegal businesses going on. And when you have that, uh, eventually will lead to trouble. And we fear that so, so much. <laughs>